Hi, Snail Movie here. Today I'll show you a film, Taxidermia. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. A boy born with a pig's tail, and his father had to snip it off with a pair of pliers. This boy had an insatiable appetite, so his father sent him to the Grand Gastronomic Training Center, where food was piled high like swine feed in troughs. With the coach's command, the contestants buried their faces in the troughs, much like little piglets, engorging themselves, while others were only halfway through. Our hero McSnout had already devoured everything effortlessly, claiming the coveted first place. As he grew older, his advantage led him to represent his country in numerous competitions, in this era of bizarre trends, where honor was bestowed upon those who ate the most and ate the fastest, they would finish a round and then retreat backstage to induce vomiting. They are engaged in an epic gastronomic battle, devouring the portions of dozens of individuals with each round, yet their astonishing feat doesn't conclude there. Once triumphant in a round, they retreat backstage to induce vomiting, preparing themselves for the next mind-boggling feast. As the second round commences, the audience erupts with ceaseless cheers and chants, particularly for Mango, the beloved companion of McSnout. McSnout was determined to stuff his face, driven by the cheers of the crowd. However, just halfway through the competition, disaster struck, consuming his food with reckless abandon. Abandon, McSnout collapsed on the spot. Overwhelmed by his ravenous appetite, although he lost the competition, fate smiled upon McSnout as he won Mango's heart, both being competitors in the realm of extreme eating. Their shared passion brings them together, and before long, they exchange vows. Several months later, Mango discovers she is pregnant, but they receives an invitation to participate in an event. Concerned about her inability to continue competing, the couple resorts to bribing the doctor and obtaining a forged medical certificate. During the intense battle, an unforeseen incident occurs occurs a mishap befalls Mango. This couple is engaged in a grand eating competition, with the chance to win in prize money. However, during the midst of the contest, the pregnant Mango suddenly collapses. Fortunately, her unborn baby remains unharmed, but shockingly undernourished. Two decades pass by, and the once infant has grown into adulthood, still emaciated. Instead of inheriting his parents' path, the young man establishes a taxidermy shop. In his later years, McSnout has become excessively obese, unable to care for himself. During idle moments, he revisits videos from his youth, immersing himself in past glory. Observing his gaunt son, McSnout incessantly mocks him, harboring no hope and instead tending to a few cats, assigning his son the task of feeding them daily, envisioning a future of triumph in the animal realm. Meanwhile, the son is filled with resentment, tirelessly enduring his duties, only to be met with relentless mockery. Finally, on this fateful day, the son can bear his father's insults no longer, leading to a heated confrontation that culminates in the son storming off, slamming the door behind him. Several days later, the son returns to his father's home, but shockingly discovers that his father has been devoured by the very cats he cared for. This man weighed a staggering 1,000 kilograms, stuck on the sofa due to extreme obesity. His daily life depended on his son. One day, they had a heated argument, and his son stormed out. Left behind in the room were the immobile man and three famished cats. Days later, when the son returned, he found his father's body hollowed out, with blood flowing into the cat cages. It dawned on him that during their argument, he had forgotten to close the cages, and in his absence, the starving cats had resorted to desperate measures for sustenance. Overwhelmed with guilt, he realized that his father was the only thing he cared about in life, and now that he was gone, he saw no reason to continue living. Being an artist himself, he first preserved his father's body as a specimen, using stuffing material. Then he secured himself onto an apparatus and initiated the machinery, sacrificing himself for art. Several days later, a buyer arrived to collect their items, only to discover this father and son duo. The buyer decided to donate them to a museum, where visitors could marvel at their story. Perspective of Snail Movie There were two generations, father and son, each driven by different obsessions. One pursued victory, the other pursued art. Their relentless pursuit of their passions often bordered on madness. Life offers various paths to achieve one's goals, but the extreme and eccentric methods they employed remained beyond the comprehension of ordinary people. However, beneath the surface of the film, there existed an era defined by the metaphorical bloated pig. Here, the act of eating went beyond depicting mere appetite. It transformed into a spectacle, a grand performance akin to a great leap forward, symbolizing the ostentatious competition among socialist nations. Ultimately, it resulted in the collapse of not only the physical body but also the economic foundations.